Hi everyone, my name is Kristen. I'm part of the education team here at the Maryland Zoo. I'm here at the Panamanian Golden Frog exhibit inside our chimpanzee forest. Um, since the zoo is closed, we wanted to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look at what is going on right now. Um, currently without any visitors, our frogs are still doing exactly what they do on a daily basis and our zookeepers are of course continuing to take excellent care of them. As you can see, they spend a lot of their time in kind of these waterfall areas, these warm uh, climates. That's because in the wild they would come from uh, central Panama in the mountain regions and that area is a rainforest. So it's very warm and very wet. Unlike the frogs that we have here in Maryland, these frogs stand out. A lot of the frogs that we see outside in our ponds and streams and places like that are usually really good at blending in or camouflaging. But Panamanian golden frogs are bright yellow. And the reason is that bright color helps to warn animals and warn their predators. I'm poisonous. You don't want to eat me because I can make you sick. The way that the Panamanian golden frogs are able to become toxic is by eating their natural insect diet out in the wild. Here at the zoo, they eat crickets, so they don't have exactly the same diet. However, they are very healthy and they get all the same nutrients that they would need as a wild frog, but that means that these guys are not poisonous. So out in the wild, they would be poisonous, but the frogs that you see here at the zoo are not in fact poisonous. So that's kind of your insider information for the day. This is a critically endangered species, and the Maryland Zoo is committed to uh, conserving and protecting this animal. Here at the zoo, we have experts who work with them every single day, not only in their care, but also communicating to people in Panama. And in fact, we have teams of people who have been to Panama to help with boots on the ground on conservation projects happening in country and trying to make sure that we're doing everything we can to get them back out into the wild. Thank you so much to all of our supporters, our followers, and of course our members for continuing to uh, support the zoo because there's a lot of work that happens here that a lot of people don't realize that we're doing and your support is what allows us to continue not only the great animal care but also our conservation work behind the scenes.